hey guys welcome back or to the youtube channel so as you saw by the title this video is going to be about how to get the best twist out results so by the end of this video you'll see the results of mine and hopefully they go with everything i've told you but let's just get right into the video so i'm not wasting anybody's time before we do that make sure you like subscribe and thank you for getting me to 1k on my other video the dye my hair black i just saw that today the day i'm recording and I'm so, so happy about it. So let's get started. Okay, so if you already have the twists in your hair already, this tip is for when you're planning to take them out. So I did not know this, and I'm actually gonna be trying this today. My sister told me about it. But when you're taking them out, you're taking the twists out, taking them down, whatever you wanna call it, make sure your hands have oil in them just so you can reduce frizz. Cause you know, when you take your hair out of a style or you're basically just messing with it or it's been in a style for a while, the top may be frizzy and everything. And even taking down the bands, it might frizz up. But if you have oil in your hands and everything, then I guess you can reduce the frizz. I haven't tried that, but like I said today, I will be trying that because my sister told me about it. So by the end, you'll see if that is something I recommend or not, but that's just a tip I heard. Tip number two is don't rush. When you're in the process of doing your own retwist or maybe having somebody else doing your retwist, make sure you're not taking 10 minutes, 20 minutes to do the retwist and putting your hair into twists. It's not a race. You can take your time. Make sure you have nice, clean, fresh parts. I mean, if you're gonna be putting it into twists and you're probably getting a fresh retwist and if it's done well with the right products or whatever you're using, then it'll last long. You can have this style in for, I've seen people have it in for five weeks, over a month and have it still look great. So make sure you're taking your time when you're doing it. Make sure you're not tugging too hard. Make sure you're using the right products that are gonna hold it, but also not cause buildup. But it's fine to take your time. It's not a relay race. Take your time, do your thing, and in the end, it'll be worth it because when you take it out, you won't be like, wow, this is a waste because everything will look good, like how you want it to look. Tip number three is do not put the rubber bands on too tight. I know not everybody uses rubber bands, but most people do. And I have rubber bands at the bottom of mine. So you don't wanna put them on too tight. You probably wanna wrap it around maybe two or three times because the more you wrap it, the tighter it's gonna get. And then it'll start to thin out your locks or just weaken it. And you don't really want that. You shouldn't be struggling to take them off and then finding a whole bunch of hair shedding and coming off or coming off with the band as you're taking it off. Another tip for that, which you can use on any of your rubber bands or your hair ties or anything like that. You probably wanna dip it in oil, wet it, whatever, just so it won't cause breakage to your hair because like I've said in my other videos, go check that out, that the back of my hair was struggling a lot because I've never really like protected my hair when I was using tight styles or using hair ties. I would just tie it up, do my thing and let it go. But really it was snapping off my hair and it would sometimes get stuck or my hairs would get wrapped around it. And I wouldn't even try to like detangle it. I would just rip it off and don't be like me guys. Go ahead and add some oils, some waters, whatever. Moisturize your rubber band. People wouldn't think to do that, but it actually makes sense because it's in your hair. You're gonna probably be having it like that the whole day tied up and you don't want it to like be tangled up with your actual hair and you're ripping it off. So make sure you're not putting the rubber band on too tight or it'll weaken your hair. Like I said, wrap it around once, twice, three times. And then also make sure you oil it and water it up. Okay, so like I said, when you're in the process of putting twists in your hair, if you want tight curls, if you want it to be super, super, super curly or coily or whatever you want it, the way to get that result is by when you're doing the twist to actually make it a little bit more tighter, wrap it around itself more, then you're gonna be training your hair to be in those tight curls, to have more curls. But if you want looser curls, you don't have to make it as tight, you don't have to wrap it around itself as much. You could tell some of my hairs, they seem more tight than the other ones. You could see the curl pattern, like it's wrapping around it more than others because I've noticed this for thick locks, it's hard to curl those up because they're so thick. You kind of have to leave it in longer and also tighter just so you can get a nice curl. But if you want looser curls, like I said, don't make it as tight. You can still have them in twists, obviously, and have them secure, but you don't have to have them 
tight or even to the root. My next tip is to moisturize your hair even when it's in the twist. So I know it's a protective style and everything. You don't have to really touch it or mess with it. That's not what I'm saying, but you still need to wet it. You still need to oil it. You don't want your hair to be itchy and scratchy and you're messing with it all the time. You don't want it to get dry because then you're gonna damage your hair. Just because in a protective style doesn't mean you have to just totally neglect it. You still have to do some things. And also moisturizing it kind of trains your hair that, hey, this is the curl pattern I want. This is how I want my hair to look. So this is what I'm going to do to it to kind of teach your hair. This is how you're going to look when it comes out. You're supposed to be retwisting your hair on wet hair and it's going to dry like that, but you want to keep training it by wetting it and letting it dry in a curl, curly way. Wet it, dry in a curly way. Wet it, dry, dry it in a curly way. Don't neglect your hair. Make sure you're moisturizing it, adding your oils so it's still strong when you take it out because you won't be able to do that as much when you take them out, when you take the twist out because if you wet it, especially a lot, you're gonna cause the twists, the curls, to just fall out, to just drop. So you can lightly spray it when you take it out, but all that moisturizing and stuff, you mostly wanna do when it's in the style. And like I said, you can have this style last you up to five weeks or even longer. It just depends on how you take care of it. So I'm taking this out today, but really, I could take this out in another week or two. But that all depends on how well you take care of your hair, how well you maintain the style and get your money's worth if you're going into a shop or anything or even your own time, how much you wanna spend into your own time. Okay, those are just a few of my tips. I can't make another video on how I put my hair into two strand twist. I do it all myself. I've never gone to a shop or anything. I do it all at home. I can even try braids. I haven't done braids in a while. I feel like I, maybe I should try it and I'll probably do it on camera. But if you want a video, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment so I actually know. But let's get started on to me taking out these root twists and let's see the results at the end. Okay guys, I'm finally done. This probably took me about 30 minutes to take out, maybe longer, I don't even know. But here you can see how it looks. Hopefully I'm not missing any. But yeah, I think I look great. And after I take out my twist, I always feel so much confident. My hair feels healthy and beautiful. Not that it already didn't, but I'm saying it feels enhanced. I love curly hair, I love curly locks, and I think I always get the best results, and I came here to show you guys how I get my results. So let me know if you guys learned anything. If you guys have any tips, how do you get your best twist out? And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And like I said, thank you for 1K on my dye my hair, my locks black. And yeah, so see you guys in another video. Deuces.